This is doing a rear differential on a Viper. So this is a Gen 3. Now what happened was, I was taking down the skid plate. I like doing my videos live, like really what's gonna happen. And I couldn't get these two bolts out. I mean, they were stuck, the Torx bolts. I believe it was number 40, they were stuck. Uh, now here's the way you change the rear end grease. First off, you need two bottles of this, okay? Goes right in the rear end. And do not forget your limited slip, okay? Don't forget that, okay? Very important. Remember this one? There's your part number, right? Take a screen. You got two nine millimeter drain plugs, and then you got a nine millimeter, these are Allen's, on the side to fill it with. So I bought the simple Harbor Freight pump to pump it up. The rear end grease out, nine millimeter. I don't recommend doing it with a screw with this, but. Because you don't want that grease, that that stuff will split that fluid does not look gray. And we're gonna let that drip. Take a little while. You know what? It must be a magnetic screw because uh, there was some, some metal filings, well, some gunk. You got metal filings stuck on it. I'm going to clean this thing as well. I'm not going to leave this dirty. So I want to clean these two things for a second. Give them a little hit. Everyone said clean them more. Oh, it's going to be gray. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. It wasn't. So that kind of caught me by surprise. I expected it. I expected something a little different on that. So, we can wipe this clean off this back up in here. And now we take the 9mm bolt. You know, I should I need a regular 9mm screw aside. So I kept one because they're full over. Now, up here, the thing with the red tag on it, that's your fill. So I'm just going to take that out. Oh, that was nice. I'm just going to take this out while I have that thing dripping. And, you know, I, I always say this. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a plumbing guy. If it looks nice and clean, I'm just a guy who uh, tries to do things on my own. So, it's still actually dripping a little bit. I, I don't want to stop and start filling it until... All this comes out. But either way, you kind of get the drift of what's going on. So what you do is you take your hose. I have two different types. And I'm going to pump this. That The first thing I'm going to do is get that rear end grease in there. You know, I want to make sure that, I mean, the, the differential fluid, that's got to get in there first. And that I could just squeeze in the side. I don't know if I can squeeze those bottles in the side. If I have enough room, I'll do that. Uh, you know what? I think I do have probably enough room. But if not, I might just put a piece of hose. I might just cut this hose and put a piece and squeeze it. You know, it, it does come with a squirt tip. So I could actually probably get that in there if I hold the bottle up high enough and do it that way. Or I could suck it out with this. But either way, when you put the juice in there, the 75140, First thing you want to do is, is put your differential fluid in there, the limited slip fluid in there. So I'm going to put this in first. I may pour it in the can and then pour the can and pour some of the can, pour this in the can, and then pour the rest in there. But when you get it in there, then we're almost done dripping. When you get it in there, when it starts coming out, you know you're full. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so at this point, we're pretty much done. Let's close it up. You know what? I do not want to do it this way. Okay. That's it. So he's done. I'll talk it all up later to the right specs. But anyway, you have the gist. I don't have to bore you with the rest of the stuff. But I'm going to put the fluid back in. 
And that's your general idea. Now, when you take down the skid plate, you got bolts, well, all those bolts all along there. The first thing I did was take out the four Phillips, four Phillips in the back. So you get those, because those are only bolted into this. So get those four Phillips out. Take them out. I left the two, these two middle bolts to hold it balanced in the middle, because I knew if I took one side out, it would start dropping. So I left these two middle. I took everything out but the two middle. And it went pretty easy. I think it was a number 40, if I remember, and then a Phillips. And it was a pretty quick job. So now I'm going to finish up. And uh, that's it. I hope this helped anybody out deciding if they were going to do their own rear end grease. I'm not a mechanic. It's a pretty easy job. You saw me do it from scratch. It's going to work. Take care.